Cheers. All right, welcome to another episode of the Cop Car Life. I had to do some uh, shade tree mechanic work this weekend, some do-it-yourself, and I thought I would put together the video and pictures that I would normally take into a video on YouTube here and see if anybody's interested in seeing this kind of stuff. So I had some leaks on the differential and I had an issue with the passenger or the driver's side uh, axle bearing about a year ago and I knew it was time to go in and uh, take a look at that. Figured I would swap out both the bearings on the passenger and driver's side. So the first step is to release all the fluid out of that back of the differential. And a bit of this was an exploratory mission to make sure there wasn't any gears or anything broken. I've had some uh, vibrations and stuff coming out of the back and I'm glad to say it wasn't anything obvious back there. All the gears look fine. Uh, about the normal amount of metal filings in the goop and I think that's attributed to a, um, a blown uh, bearing that we'll see in a minute here. So I take a lot of this video so that I can uh, verify if there's maybe something that needs to be indexed or put into a certain position that I'm not aware of when I take the thing apart. Uh, these videos are what I'll do to kind of, uh, it's an insurance policy, so I figured I would uh, put some of these together. A lot of times I take stills, uh, so I'll take pictures like the brakes and things to make sure uh, when I'm putting it back together that I'm putting it back together in the right orientation or whatever. So um, it's a bit of a system on the differential. You take out that center pin and that prevents the axles from moving like I'm doing there. I'm shifting the axle in and out. Uh, once that center pin is removed, uh, you can push the axle in and remove that retaining clip. But uh, once that clip is in there and the axle is pushed all the way out, this big steel rod goes down the center and prevents the axles from coming back towards the center and that keeps everything in place. So it's a bit of a puzzle, uh, but it's not too difficult with the various YouTube videos and things. A lot of experts out there explain how these things can be done. So this is a fairly basic uh, repair. So anyway, we uh, kind of fiddle with the axle there. You can sit about halfway between the wheel and the center and you can wiggle with one hand the, the axle and with your other hand you can grab that little C-clip out of there. And once that's all released, you can pull the axle just straight out the wheel there and you can see that it comes right out. Now that's the seal that we're going to replace and then there's a bearing behind there. So this side was fairly as I would expect, but the, the driver's side, you can see on the right there is the driver's side. It had a blown bearing, uh, which over the course of driving it for a year has worn that axle pretty good. So unfortunately this kind of basic maintenance turned into a bit of an ordeal because I needed to go source a new axle. So you can get a new axle at the um, parts store, but from what I'm told on the internet, uh, reviews and stuff, it's Chinese steel and it's not hardened well and it's really only a temporary fix. So I decided to source some Ford axles. If I get them straight from Ford, they were about $500. Instead, I got that whole rear end for $200 at a U-pull-it type of junkyard and uh, went ahead and replaced out my axles from that part. Now, once I put it all together, uh, unfortunately, I found out one of the uh, lug nuts or lug uh, studs was damaged and wasn't working. So I basically had to chop that stud out. I was able to take apart the safety brake there and uh, pound the, the bad one out of the axle and it wouldn't quite come out. So I took a grinder and I cut it in half and was able to remove it. And then I took one of the uh, lugs from the worn out axle and uh, popped it off. And then I needed to cut the end off of it so that I could finagle it back through uh, by the uh, safety brake there. And once I got it back through, I started using a, a lug nut backwards there to thread it back out or kind of pull it back into the axle. Ended up working out okay. It's wasted about an hour of time, but everything is back together and working well. So one successful uh, weekend project. Took a little bit longer than the original hour. It ended up taking two days because it took some time to source that rear end from a parts store. Uh, about $300 for this. I searched it online and it looks like the price range would have been a bit more than that. I want to thank my friend Biker Bob for driving me around. Would have been difficult with the car up on jacks to get that axle. Unfortunately, I did find a fuel leak, so I uh, might have something like this in the future. But till then, I want to thank everybody for watching and all those who support what we do online. Uh, stay tuned for more of these. Give us some feedback if these are interesting. Uh, I do take video stuff when I do projects like this, and uh, it took about a couple hours to put this together into a video. But if people are interested, I'll be more than happy to do this again in the future. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Till next time.